creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget or everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today I headed on over to the Dollar Tree because it is the end of January, beginning of February. Valentine's Day isn't even here yet. But guess what? Dollar Tree is fresh out of Valentine's Day stuff and they are rolling out their St. Patrick's Day stuff and I was looking for some Easter stuff because I know that once it's out, you gotta get it because I feel like once it's gone, they're not restocking it anymore, which really stinks. I wish that they would restock it all the way up until a week before Easter because I really think that people would buy it if they would continue to carry it. I hate the fact that they put it out and once it's gone, it's gone and you just can't get it. But if I wanna bring you some DIYs, I gotta get it while the getting is good. And so I gotta stop in the Dollar Tree every couple days just to see if they've put it out yet. I saw that a bunch of their shelves were empty the other day and so I knew, okay, in the next couple days, the Easter stuff is gonna be out. It's not, but while I was there, I found some really cool random finds that I knew I needed to show you because I think they're really cool. So let me quit my gabbing, let's jump into it, and let me show you some of the cool random finds that I think you should keep your eyes open for at your local Dollar Tree because these are really cool new items that Dollar Tree seems to be stocking their shelves with. Let's get to it. Alrighty, so getting started. Can you tell what these are? Oh my word, I know I sound excited, but this is an exciting new addition to the Dollar Tree by Crafter Square. Tie-dye bottles, are you kidding me? You're getting one color for a dollar and they've got, what is this, six different colors. You've got pink, blue, purple, red, green, and yellow. Amazing. It's got the rubber bands, it's got the baggie, it's got the powder dye inside. What a fun addition. I think that, who doesn't like to try tie dyeing? Every kid loves that. And for the bargain price of $6 plus a t-shirt, how fun is that? You could even get creative and do towels or blankets if you wanted to, who knows? But I'm just excited that they have this. So I picked one up in every color because guess who's gonna be doing some tie-dye shirts? Yes, my Dollar Tree got wood cubes in. These measure out at two and a quarter inches by two and a quarter inches. I know that uh, some YouTubers have already hauled these and maybe their stores have had them for a while. Mine just got them in. I was at Dollar Tree yesterday. They weren't on the shelves. I went again today and these were on the shelves. Yeah, I'm excited that they have these. I picked up eight of these. Now this Christmas when I was doing my fondant ornaments, I was using fondant, so many of you said that Dollar Tree had air dry clay. I had never seen it. My Dollar Tree had never got it, but look what they got now. Air dry clay. How much are you getting? 8.8 .8 ounces. I don't know about you, but typically when I'm painting, I have a cup of water that I put my brush in to clean it or just to keep it from getting dry. And so when I saw this, I thought this was a pretty cool little contraption. It's a brush cleaning pot. And so I think it's cool that you can stick your brushes in there, fill this with water and yeah, just something different than a cup. Dollar Tree is now carrying embroidery thread. How cool is that? You're getting five different colors. I am hoping that they come out with more colors, maybe adding a cream, a white, a brown, something to keep my eye open for. But for now, you're getting five different colors for a dollar. Here's another super random find, these lobster claws. These are necklace clasps. Now, I know from my best friend Linda, who lives in Utah, her Dollar Tree has a lot of beads and jewelry making stuff in their Crafter Square line. And so I'm thinking that maybe my Dollar Tree is gonna start getting more beads and wire and string and stuff to make jewelry. And so maybe this is just one of the things that they've rolled out, we'll see. But I picked up one pack and you're getting 12 in a pack. There was a whole new box of fat quarters and I am a sucker for fat quarters. I love buying fabric. 
you can never have enough fabric, right? And so when I saw this line, it's kind of a mixture of harvest and Christmas and summer, which I think is really fun. But would you look at that sunflower fabric? How fun is that? And I've got a fabric DIY in store for you using these that is no sew. So I think you're gonna like that and wanna stay tuned for it. We've got this fun picnic kind of green gingham. We've got a harvest pumpkin. I think that is super pretty. I love this. This is like a Route 66 kind of a farmhouse uh, with license plates on it. Super cool. And there was a Christmas one with reindeers and cool trees. So I picked that up as well, even though it's not Christmas. Maybe I'll use it next year. But wait a minute. If these new fat quarters weren't cool enough on their own, oh my goodness, wait for it, please. Crafter Square has come out with rotary cutters. How cool is that? This is a 28 millimeter blade. And now I was thinking, oh, these are probably gonna be disposable. You're not gonna be able to change out the blade on them because they're a dollar. So I'm guessing when once it's dull, you're gonna have to throw it away. But when I was looking on the side of the package, I have to show you this. It looks like the blade comes off. There is a screw there, which will cause this to detach, which will then make this top part come off. And so I'm kind of wondering if Crafter Square is gonna have some refills of these blades. One can keep their fingers crossed because a dollar for a rotary cutter, I think it's great. And if it dulls out and you can buy new blades, cool. If it doesn't, then just keep your eye open for a new one and pay a dollar for another one until it doles out. Okay, so this works by this little tab here. You kind of pull it down and that exposes the roller cutter and then you can press it up. So let's see how this cuts. Oh, perfect. Would you look at that? That is awesome. Let's try again. Fantastic! I am so impressed with this tool for a dollar. You can't beat that. You're gonna get a rotary cutter by Crafter Square for a dollar, and you're gonna be able to cut paper and fabric perfectly with your Crafter Square cutting mat. And a Dollar Tree ruler. Amazing find. Love, love, love this. Last Crafter Square haul, I showed you that they had crochet needles and they were plastic. They came in a two pack. Now I am seeing kind of a better quality uh, hook. It's got a real nice plastic handle on it. It's got the metal hook itself and I found it in three different sizes. This 4.5, this 5 and 5.5. And I decided that since I picked these up because one can never have enough crochet needles, I would pick up some of Dollar Tree's yarn. I think that this is a good quality yarn. They've got some that is a premier, which I'm guessing chunky yarn, which is a thicker yarn. And they've got some that is a thinner, but I love the colors. As you can tell, I stay true to my nature and um, I'm gonna make something out of Dollar Tree's yarn that you are not going to wanna miss. And so you'll wanna stay tuned for that and it will be using these colors here. I think this is one of the last Crafter Square items I picked up. Are these aluminum words new? They're not, but I did pick up Home, Happy, and Family. And so I do have a DIY in store for these coming up and I believe that I will be using all three of the words in one DIY. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but yeah, you can expect to be seeing these in an upcoming one here real soon. Um, yeah, this says fabric roses. These are not fabric roses. These are burlap roses. Oh my goodness, they have it in my favorite brown. They have it in pink. They also have it in red. I'm not gonna use red. So I picked up one pack of the brown and one pack of the pink. And I think that these can easily be incorporated into a a farmhouse DIY of mine. I can't wait. Yeah, can you guess what these are? Oh, it only says it up there. Decorative knobs, really? 
Dollar Tree is carrying decorative knobs that come in a two pack. So you're getting two knobs for a dollar. Really? Dollar Tree doorknobs or knobs? That is amazing. They've got the screws on the back. I really don't know what I'm gonna use these for, but I picked up two because I figured four is a safe number and I'm sure I'll incorporate these into a DIY somehow. I just think that these are awesome new items that the Dollar Tree is stocking their shelves with. I wanna say last year sometime I did haul these dry flowered arrangements. This year I picked them up again because I really love the dry flowers. I love just all the elements that come in these and you can very easily disassemble these and use them in a DIY or you can use these and wrap them around say some plain towels and have decorative towels in your bathroom. These are great for that. And so I picked up this green because I really loved the green. I loved the flower and I picked up two of the white and brown. How gorgeous are those? This is a fun find. Have I said that yet? I probably have said that about every item I've shown you so far, but how stinking cool is this? This is a decorative moss. You may have seen this at your Dollar Tree. Mine has never had it. Moss is something that I really keep my eye open for, especially the reindeer moss, because it's something I really like. But I love that this moss has different tones of green, it has different tones of brown, and it has some dry flowers in it as well. You're getting a, a bit of a smaller package than you typically would, but that's because it is a decorative moss. But how fun is that? I just love everything that comes in this and wow, Dollar Tree, you are really stepping up your game. You all know that I love to DIY candles and now Dollar Tree has these four DIY, yes, candle sets. How awesome is that? You're gonna find it in the fresh linen, um, blueberry, we've got lavender and we've got apple cinnamon. Oh, and apricot, oh, it's two different ones. Okay, oh no, it's three. Heck, since I have four of these candles, I'm gonna DIY a candle for you real quick and show you what all comes in this kit so you can see, and if you're interested, you can keep your eye open for it. I am seeing that there are three different scents in this, which is exciting. I guess every box has the magnolia scent. It comes with this beautiful glass, and on the bottom, it's got this decorative feature, and it's got the wick already in the glass, so that's pretty cool. It's got the three scents, the magnolia, the blueberry, and this fresh linen breeze, I think, is the green. And so the idea here is just to layer the wax granules. And that is exactly what it is. When you touch it, you can actually feel that it is a wax. And so as I'm doing it, I'm seeing that there were kind of chunks of the wax that were stuck together. And so I'm thinking that next time, I didn't catch on to it originally, but I think next time it's best if before you pour the wax, if you kind of break it up in the bag before you pour it. The white ones seem to be worse than the colored ones for some reason, and I don't know if it's just because it got a bit warm and they kind of melted together, but once you broke them apart, it was fine and it was easy to do. And so whether it is broke apart or not, it's not going to alter the outcome, but you can see with the blue that I actually kind of mushed it together in the bag. And so it's a smoother granule, not so chunky like the other two. I think just by breaking it apart in the bag, you're gonna get a better outcome when you layer it. It's not gonna alter how the candle burns because the, the wax is gonna melt regardless. And so you get a decent amount of wax granules, which I'm really impressed with, which means you can really get creative with the way you do it. Now, this is my first one. So as I'm doing it, I'm kind of catching on to, okay, if I do this or if I do that, I'm gonna get a better layered outcome on the outside of the glass. But nonetheless, I think it's really fun and they do give you enough wax to fill the entire glass. Now that's fun, but you can see how the smoother wax layered a bit better than the clumped together wax. But this is still fun. It's a dollar. Let's light this and let me show you how it works. 
How fun is that? We just made a DIY candle for a dollar, and I think that this is such a great project for kids. Not that they should be lighting the candle, obviously, but I think it would be fun to let them pour the wax sand or wax granules in and get creative, and I think that's what I'm gonna do with the other two candles that I bought. And so I'll do another one here for you using the orange and the reds, which is the citrus, the strawberry, and the magnolia, was it strawberry? Tangerine maybe? And you can see with this one I did break it apart. Some of the chunks got away from me, but for the most part, there is a learning curve, so learn from my mistakes and just kind of break that wax apart before you pour it. How fun, I'm excited to let Allie do this today. It's Saturday, the day I'm uploading this. I think she'll enjoy making a couple of these. Kayla might even want to get in on the action too. I am definitely gonna say that these are a fun new item and if you see these, I definitely pick them up because it's worth just the quick DIY craft for a dollar. And you can see here after it's been lit how the wax is melting. This I thought was a cool find. Every year around this time, I see that Dollar Tree carries boxes like this of wildflowers and whatnot. And so this year I saw that they had herbs. And so I thought that it was cool because I found dill, thyme, basil, and parsley. And our guinea pigs love herbs. They absolutely love dill. Dill is one of their favorites. They can only eat it like once a week, but they can eat parsley every day. And so I bought a few boxes of these because I'm gonna grow the guinea pigs their own dill and parsley and basil. And I'm gonna do so using, let me show you what I've done. You can see here that it's kind of this roll of, I don't know what, but it is rolled several times and there are lots of seeds and boy oh boy does it make a mess but there are seeds embedded into this and so i'm thinking that we're gonna get a lot of herbs out of this and the fact that it's called herb rocket i'm really hoping that it grows quick and it grows good the soil that i typically use is a flowers vegetable and herb soil it has fertilizer in it this is a garden soil I typically use this for my garden every summer. It's a great soil, and so that's what I'm gonna use for these. I picked up three of these stackable pots from the Dollar Tree because how awesome is that, that we can put three herbs in each section. And so I just started off by placing a bit of soil on the bottom. And I will tell you that these pots do have holes in the bottom in each of the three sections, but they also have kind of a cover that allows for the water to go through for drainage. Not too much water, but enough that it's not gonna spill all over your flooring if you don't overwater your plants, I should say. So there is a cap on the bottom of these to protect or to stop the water from dripping out. Once I've got the bottom pretty much filled, I'm gonna go ahead and place each of my, I guess, seedling rolls in each section and when doing this i wanted to do one stackable pot for each herb and so because i bought three of them i'm gonna go with the dill the parsley and the basil once i placed my rolls in each of the sections i just simply went ahead and continued filling the pot with my garden soil now, would you look there? We just did an herb garden for the bargain price of $13 using items from the Dollar Tree. Now, although I didn't use soil from the Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree does have this soil around this time in stock. So just keep your eye open for it. And really, it's gonna be a one-stop shop. And what a fun little DIY to do with the kids to really get them into that gardening and watching something grow. Did you know that Dollar Tree carries pet pads and they carry them in a couple of different sizes. They carry them in an extra large size, which is 26 inches by 30 inches, and you're getting three pads for a dollar. And they also carry the smaller size that is 22 by 22. You're getting four pads in a pack for a dollar. I think this is a great find and a great buy at the Dollar Tree because we line our guinea pig cages 
with a pet pad so it's easier for us to clean their cage out and remove their bedding. And so the fact that you can get three for a dollar at the Dollar Tree and four for a dollar with this size is an amazing buy. Another awesome find is this sulfate free color protection shampoo by Power Stick. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. I think that's really great because for those of you who use a sulfate free shampoo, you know that it's a bit costly. I use one and I use one by Herbal Essence because it seemed to be the most budget friendly one that I could find at Walmart. I'm not gonna lie to you, I bought this four days ago and I have washed my hair twice with it because I wanted to see if it was gonna dry my scalp out and it didn't. It a little went a long way and usually with Dollar Tree shampoo, um, it's very watered down. This is not. This has coconut oil, it has geranium oil, it is by Power Stick, but I will tell you that this is a great quality shampoo. The only thing I'm a little bit bummed about is they didn't have the conditioner. And so I am most definitely gonna be keeping my eye open for this shampoo and the conditioner. How cute is this? A scrunchie and you're getting hair ties up here. You're getting, I wanna say, four rubber bands and two smaller scrunchies. They have these in several different colors. What a fun little gift to give for Valentine's Day. Found these sphere ice molds at the Dollar Tree. How awesome is that? These are a decent size mold. You have one side that has the hole in it, and then you have this side that does not. Around Christmas time this year, I made hot cocoa bombs and the silicone molds for those were really expensive. And so I was using my aluminum bath bomb molds that I had and I only had one of them. So I kind of had to make a lot of them, but it was worth it because I had a bigger mold. This is a huge mold. This side here does not have a hole in it. And so you could very easily use this to make hot cocoa bombs and you're going to get a nice size hot cocoa bomb that I would guess would hold a whole packet of hot cocoa in it. What a great buy. Or you can just make an ice sphere mold if you wanted to, why not? Lastly, this little gadget here, I have been on the hunt for and it came to my store. And this is one that I am super excited about. Yes, this is an avocado tool. This is for taking the avocado out of the skin. Not only does it take it out of the skin, but it slices your avocado as well. And wait for it. Yeah, right down here. You just hack that seed with it, twist it a little bit, and the seed comes right out. How amazing is this tool by Betty Crocker? The girl that I saw who hauled these and demonstrated it told me not to walk, but that I needed to run to Dollar Tree and I needed to grab a couple of these. And so I grabbed a couple of them. I told you these were random finds, but there's some cool ones. I really think that that sulfate free shampoo is super cool. And boy, oh boy, was I ever excited to see that avocado scraper. Not gonna lie, I bought one for me, the motorhome, and for Ray. Kayla laughed at me and she was like, Mom, what is Ray gonna do with an avocado scraper? And I was like, I don't know, maybe he's gonna scrape an avocado. He's gonna pit an avocado. And she just kind of looked at me like I had lost my marbles, and I probably have, but you know what? It's a cool tool to have. So maybe one day Ray's gonna have a girlfriend and she's gonna look in his utensil drawer and she's gonna be like, oh, Ray, you have an avocado scraper. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I think it's cool. I'm glad I found it. And it's one of those things that I think you should keep your eye open for because I think it's gonna make really pitting and taking an avocado out of the skin a lot easier. I was excited about it. I hope you all enjoyed my random finds at the Dollar Tree. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to, you guessed it, 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. And I'm realizing that I really did just tell you the story about the avocado scraper with Ray, but I think it's pretty funny because Kayla and I got a good laugh out of it. It is what it is, but that's my life. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy everything on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive.